When we talk about stealth aircraft, we often refer to radar stealth, which means making the aircraft invisible to radar and other detection devices through special structures and materials. However, stealth can also refer to visual stealth and auditory stealth. These technologies are currently not widely used in aircraft, but are more commonly found in camouflage coatings and silencers used by ground forces. Today, we will introduce a type of aircraft called the QD-2PC, which is designed for auditory stealth. The QD-2PC originated from the X-26 program launched in the late 1950s, which aimed to help pilots train for inertial coupling phenomena. At that time, as engine technology became stronger and aircraft speeds increased, the size of the wings became smaller, resulting in less inertia in the wings. This made it more difficult to control the aircraft during rolling and other maneuvers. In the past, seaplanes often used a design with the engine on the back, which not only kept the engine compartment away from the erosion of the waves but also enhanced the control efficiency of the wings. The drawback was a sacrifice in speed. Theoretically, the design of an engine on the back could allow the aircraft to take off with fewer or lower power engines, and the change in the engine also meant a reduction in noise. In the mid to late 1960s, Lockheed Corporation began developing a silent aircraft for reconnaissance and surveillance. The Navy provided Lockheed with two glider-modified X-26 experimental aircraft, and the company designed the QD-2PC based on them. The QD-2PC is a uniquely shaped two-seat light single-wing aircraft with a bubble-shaped cockpit canopy that provides better visibility for the pilot. The wings are very narrow and are installed on both sides behind the cockpit. Behind the cockpit is the engine compartment, which houses a 100 horsepower O200 horizontally opposed four-cylinder air-cooled engine. The reason for choosing such a low-power engine is that the designer intended to use a back-mounted propeller to improve wing efficiency and reduce engine noise. The engine is driven by a transmission structure mounted on top of the cockpit. This shaft extends from the rear of the cockpit to the front of the nose and is supported by a bracket. At the front end is a 2.54-meter diameter roll fallen four-blade propeller, which is a structurally sturdy and reliable slow-speed propeller with low noise. This aircraft combines noise reduction design with the previous X-26 technology. During flight tests, the aircraft achieved the expected design performance. When flying at a height of 1,000 feet, about 304 meters, at a speed of about 130 kilometers per hour, the aircraft's noise cannot be heard on the ground, demonstrating outstanding silent performance. However, real combat is the only standard to test the truth. In order to verify the value of silent aircraft in actual combat, the QD-2PC was approved for combat testing in Southeast Asia in 1968. The aircraft was equipped with corresponding electronic equipment before departure, and a downward-looking observation window was installed on the lower part of the fuselage. The aircraft's surface was painted in a dark blue color suitable for night flights. The QD-2PC flew continuously in Vietnam for several weeks, always flying at night. Because the aircraft made almost no sound on the ground, the enemy hardly noticed it. In addition to collecting a large amount of information during night reconnaissance, some high-value targets were also discovered, which had a certain impact on ground operations. After the test of actual combat, the aircraft returned to the United States in 1969, and its mission was basically completed. One of the two aircraft was collected by the Army Aviation Museum, and the other was sold after retirement, seemingly converted into a seaplane for continued use. The QD-2PC silent experimental aircraft weighs 1134 kilograms, has a length of 9.33 meters, a height of 2.74 meters, a wingspan of 17.37 meters, a wing area of 16.7 square meters. The aircraft's silent cruising speed is between 112 and 128 kilometers per hour, with a maximum altitude of 4,000 meters and a climb rate of approximately 1 meter per second. The aircraft has an endurance time of about 6.7 hours, during combat testing.